The tragic killing of 17 Nigerian army officers in Okwama left many Nigerians shocked and saddened. Following the incident, the Nigerian army took control of the Okwama community, causing residents to flee for safety. The situation escalated, leading to arrests and heightened tensions. However, with the intervention of the Delta State Governor, who helped resolve the issues and provided an IDP camp for displaced residents, peace slowly returned to the area. Six months later, both communities involved in the conflict have decided to put their differences aside and give peace a chance. Representatives from both sides, along with the traditional rulers, security operatives, and local government officials, gathered at the government house annex in Wari to formally sign a peace accord. The agreement included a ceasefire, the denouncement of violence, reconciliation, and access to farmlands. What we did today is a, is a landmark, as far as I'm concerned. The structure of this process and those who are part of the process truly shows that both communities are hungry for peace. It's a thing of joy. After living together for several years, that we had met in controversy in a major crisis. And this they have done. I hope and pray that uh, this peace accord will grant us, bring us a lasting peace. You can see uh, not only signing the peace accord, we went further to set up a monitoring committee. I saw you is going to be sustained because uh, it's our primary responsibility and we are not going to sleep over you. In a related event marking the International Day of Peace, Special Advisor to the Delta State Governor on Peace and Conflict Resolution, Edwin Uzo, highlighted the state's commitment to dialogue as a means of fostering peace. He cited the Okwama crisis as an example and shared that the government has plans to establish a permanent peace solution by clearly marking boundaries. The boundary between Okoloba and Ukwam. We are about going in there to the marketing with the summers. As soon as we are ready for that, we will let you also know about it. But we are preparing towards that. So the permanent boundary will be right from the water to the land. This success is part of the Delta State Governor's Peace Initiative, which aims to enhance security and promote economic and social growth in the state.